Hello there, my name is Marcos Montenegro and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. to find the nearest tool, you gotta be able to find the closest points or, or other special polygons uh, between one fire and a second fire. How we do that? In this example here, I have two datasets with uh, spatial objects there. So I have this one with 24 records and uh, all of them have one uh, column here with my points. In this case, I have just points but you can do uh, with other polygons, as I said. So I have this one here and I have another one with 190 uh, records as well. So if I want to find the closest points uh, from this table here to my values in this table here, with the find nearest tool, I can do that very easily. In the find nearest configuration, the first thing you need to do is the target table you pointed here, that means the, the data set you entered here in the target anchor, you got a point here in the configuration to the, the column where you have the spatial objects. So in this case, it's my story point column is where I have my, my points. After that, you got a point the universe, so you got a point the other data set where you're gonna try to find the, the closest points. Here in this case I have a second data set in my workflow where I connect it to my universe anchor. So once I do that, we'll be able here, we'll be enable here this, uh, this option and I will select here the column where I have my spatial objects in this data set. But you also can uh, don't include this data set in your workflow and take these records directly from another file or another data set. You just don't need to, uh, to connect anything here in the universe anchor and this other, uh, other option here will be enabled to you and you can connect to, to the file or the data set to use as universe to you. And it will be the same thing, you got to point the column where you have the spatial objects. With these two configurations, what you're going to do now will be to uh, say to Alteryx, to tell to Alteryx uh, how much uh, points you want to find the year of each record you have in the target, in the text table. So in this case, I have just one, but I, I can uh, type here two, three, whatever. Uh, and you're gonna find uh, that much of uh, points or objects closer to you, to your uh, target objects. So here I have one, so I will find only the closest points to my target points. And here you're gonna say to objects as well, uh, what is the maximum distance to him try to find uh, closest points? So here I have 20 miles, so if you have any points in your universe uh, beyond the 20 miles of your target point, that will be unmatched to you. So like you can see here in the, in the tool, you have two uh, output anchors. One is M and the other is U because M is matched and the U is unmatched. So if you have a point in your target data set uh, where the closest point in the universe data set is beyond this limit you set here, this record will go to the U anchor on match it because go far off your limit, right? But all the other points uh, respecting your limit of the maximum distance will be to the, uh, will go to the, uh, to the M output, right? So here you gotta set this maximum distance to match or unmatch uh, your closest points. 
and here you also can select what units you're gonna use to calculate that. I will leave here as miles. This option here I, we're gonna talk later, but like you can see here, you also have inside of this uh, this tool an embedded selected tool. So you also can select here uh, what columns you want to, to to see in the output. Okay, so right now let's run this workflow to see the render inside the browser and what do we get. The first thing you gotta look here will be the table where you gotta have here. Uh, the target columns and after that you gotta have the universe columns unless you, uh, you unselect something inside the configuration and you're gonna have these three columns here where you're gonna see the rank of this uh, this point and so if you select it like I did just one point to to, to show as a, the closest we're gonna see all here as one but if you select it there one two three or whatever if you select three you're gonna see three lines here for each row in your targets because we will be uh, the first record of the universe uh, and the second and the third uh, in tied to the, the first one in the, the target you're gonna see as well the distance in miles and the direction to go to to the point in the universe and here in the map, you're gonna see as red your uh, target points and as green your universe points, so the closest point. And one second example I will show to you right now is when you have just one data set and you want to find the nearest point, but using the same data set. So you have just one data set with one column, you can have other columns as well, but let's say just one column with the, the polygons, the, the objects you have, and you want to, to each record you have there, you find the order in the same data set uh, closest to this one. So to this case, you just need to use the same data set as target and as universe, but just one thing you need to pay attention is if you you are using the same data set that means the f the closest point will be the point itself so because in this case it will be the distance zero between the the points so do you don't uh, don't find the zero distance as the the nearest distance to you uh, the nearest point to you will have this option here to ignore the zero distance matches this way you're gonna find the nearest points i'm counting these zero matches to to you don't find just the same point itself because it's meaningless to to you so you once you do that you will find here like you can see the the nearest points or nearest polygons you have your same data set and you're be gonna be able to to use just one data set instead uh, two data sets for that if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted thanks for watching